প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থী বন্ধুগণ আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি বিএসবি কেমরান উচ্চ শিক্ষা দেশ বিদেশ অনুষ্ঠানে আপনারা জানেন নিয়মিত এই অনুষ্ঠানে আমরা বিভিন্ন বিষয় নিয়ে কথা বলি বিশেষ করে দেশে এবং বিদেশে উচ্চ শিক্ষা নিয়ে আমরা জানি বাংলাদেশ থেকে খুব কাছে যে কোটি দেশে বাংলাদেশী শিক্ষার্থীরা পড়াশোনার সুযোগ পায় তার মধ্যে থাইল্যান্ড সিঙ্গাপুর মালয়েশিয়া অন্যতম আজকে আমরা কথা বলবো থাইল্যান্ডের উচ্চ শিক্ষা নিয়ে আর এই বিষয়ে কথা বলার জন্য আজকে আমাদের মাঝে উপস্থিত আছেন মিস সেয়া সিমা কানিডু গন্ডি যিনি ডিরেক্টর ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কলেজ নর্থ চিয়াংমাই ইউনিভার্সিটি এবং একই সাথে উপস্থিত আছেন ডক্টর জেফ্রি উইলিয়াম ডিন ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কলেজ নর্থ চিয়াংমাই ইউনিভার্সিটি প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থী বন্ধুরা আমরা সরাসরি চলে যাচ্ছি তাদের কাছে কারণ আমরা যে বিষয়গুলো বিদেশে উচ্চ শিক্ষার ক্ষেত্রে সবচেয়ে বেশি গুরুত্ব দিতে হয় সেটি হচ্ছে সেই দেশের শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থা কোন ইউনিভার্সিটিগুলো কোন কোন বিষয়ে পড়িয়ে থাকে সেখানে বাংলাদেশি শিক্ষার্থীদের ক্ষমতার মধ্যে আছে কিনা অর্থাৎ পড়াশোনার যোগ্যতা সেখানে তাদের রয়েছে কিনা তাদের ফিনান্সিয়াল এবিলিটি আছে কিনা সেই জায়গাটি পড়াশোনা করার এবং ইউনিভার্সিটিগুলো তারা কী কী ফেসিলিটি দিয়ে থাকে এই বিষয়গুলো নিয়ে তাই আমরা এই বিষয়গুলো নিয়েই কথা বলতে চাই স্যার ওয়েন টু নো ফার্স্ট দ্যাট অ্যাবাউট দ্য নর্থ চিয়াংমাই ইউনিভার্সিটি নর্থ Um, it's based at uh, North Chiang Mai, at, uh, Handong, which is uh, just outside of the uh, Chiang Mai city. The president uh, is a very successful uh, businessman, and he was born in Chiang Mai. And he wanted to give something back to the community of Chiang Mai. So in 1999, he completed uh, uh, building or constructing uh, uh, an international university for the people of Chiang Mai. I would like to add up. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we are the first private university in the north of Thailand. Mm -hmm. We are uh, delivery uh, engineering uh, college. We are one of the best engineering college run by the, uh, what do you call like a private sector. Yes. Excellent. We are located at Chiang Mai province, just 15 uh, kilometers away from the international airport of Chiang Mai. Can you give us a little idea about the education system in Thailand and uh, Chiang Mai? Okay, education in Thailand just like uh, uh, at the international curriculum. We follow like a, a globally like education. Our education in Thailand is quite standard. We uh, our even our credit can be transferred in anywhere else in the world. We know that uh, some of your students can transfer or they can complete the internee in Singapore or in Australia. What is the uh, procedure? The curriculum that we developed, we, want, we wanted uh, to develop an international curriculum because that's the future. And all the subjects that we deliver us deliver in the English language. Mm -hmm. And that's going to uh, be spread now right across uh, North Chiang Mai University in all subjects. Hospitality in particular. Uh, the curriculum is designed by industry with a lot of uh, university studies. They graduate, but they find it very difficult to find employment. So we thought we'll attack it from a, a, a different angle. Let's talk to industry. Industry can tell us the model that they would like, uh, which is very employable. So we've got a curriculum which is driven by industry, 50-50. So it's 50% of the courses on, on the job, practical, and 50% is obviously the theory aspects. And that's been a very successful model uh, in Australia, uh, even in the UK and, and the USA, because industry now want uh, the talented uh, workforce, um, and they want not just the graduate uh, degree, they want at least one year uh, experience in the industry, they also want uh, English fluency. Uh, they also so the criteria is set now. Where in fact there's six criteria, and we work towards that criteria because unless the students uh, fulfil that criteria, mm -hmm. they won't even get an interview. Okay, so in this case, if they uh, transfer their credit or they can complete internally from Singapore or Australia, what is the uh, transfer or admission policy over there? Well, we have uh, what we call articulation agreements mm -hmm. with other universities worldwide. Uh, James Cook University in Singapore, mm -hmm. uh, ICHM in Adelaide, which is the Swiss Hotel School. Uh, therefore, we... we uh, cooperate with each other in terms of the style and the delivery of the curriculum. So 
uh, there is the MOU where in fact or the opportunity for our students and their students so their students can come to Thailand and ours could go to Australia but not to study full time uh, uh, but uh, for example they're doing internship in Australia in semester six mm -hmm. working with uh, working in five-star hotels these are paid internships um, and if they wish to stay on for another six months and study with ICHM the Swiss Hotel School they're quite able to okay so uh, those who are the uh, international student interested to study in your university they need the accommodation what type of accommodation facility available and how much the cost okay we have, provide, we have two type of accommodations one is in campus the campus we provide twin sharing a conditioned room bathroom attached and we also providing them the food the food is going to be like a international food including Indian as well and you can, we, I, and then I can assure you regarding the food because we have the Muslim community in, in Chiang Mai mm -hmm. and our food going to be served, the hostel food going to be served as halal food. The cost is just 1,500 US dollar per annum. Okay, accommodation and, and, food. and food, yes, three meals a day. Okay. Yes. It's very, it's very nice. Yes. So uh, what about the tuition fee? The tuition fee, normally the, our tuition fee is 5,000 US dollar per annum for the tuition fee. Mm -hmm. But once we have come first time in Bangladesh, so we have offered the special fees like, under the scholarship to Bangladesh student. So the fees, Bangladesh student paying the fees less than 4,000 per annum. Less okay. than 4,000 per annum. Okay. It's come like a 120,000 baht per annum. So uh, this is the month of July. So yes. when, when they apply for the Actually, our the semester is going to commencing in 15 August. Okay. August is the first batch, and then the second we, we do two intakes in a year. One is in August intake, and second intake is in January. So the children so, student can apply. So do you think that this is the right time uh, for apply in the August sem semester because our higher secondary school certificate exam published on the maybe 9th or 13th of August, so. Yes, it, uh, this is the right time for the student to apply right now because mm -hmm. the actual class is going to start on 22nd of August. Okay. Yes, the student can join us till the late of, till the 30th of August. That is the last date. For the visa uh, admission and visa process, yes. how long it will take? It takes five working days. Five working days. Only? Yes, because I just confirmed with the embassy, Thai embassy yesterday. Okay, so what is the embassy requirement for uh, visa process? The requirement is like at the mark sheet, the mark sheet have to attest by MOSA, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, mm -hmm. and then they need acceptance letter from us, from our university. Mm -hmm. And then they have to have like a, at least minimum like a 120 DACA in the bank balance. One lakh? One, one lakh 20 DACA. Okay, so, uh, what about the standard of your education? So is it similar like Australia, Singapore, or? It's very Belgium? similar, I mean, because the, uh, I'm talking about hospitality and tourism, mm -hmm. um, uh, and the BBA. Uh, the world's becoming, uh, they're learning from each other, and they're looking for the best model, uh, an innovative model, uh, and the model that produces uh, talented uh, graduates. Uh, that's very employable and the, and the employability of a graduate is critical uh, because after all that's why they're studying uh, so we the, the the curriculum in America it changes from uh, college to college university to university but they're very much might have got different names but very similar in delivery uh, for example the innovation entrepreneurship uh, strategy if you do an MBA, you look at uh, Harvard's uh, MBA program, and you look at uh, Yale's, very similar. Same in Australia. You look at James Cook, you look at uh, uh, New South Wales, you look at uh, uh, Melbourne University. Might have got different names, but similar content, similar delivery. Um, in Bangladesh, right now, a lot of five-star hotels are running their operation, and upcoming few number of hotels are going to start their operation. Mm. So that's why we need uh, expert manpower regarding the hospitality industry. 
So how can we develop? I think that's why the hospitality and tourism degree, or even diplomas, are very popular in Bangladesh. We've, we've talked to students who have studied before other subjects, and they're coming to us for hospitality. And it's, it's, what's exciting in the future, there are the plans. I mean, you've already got uh, uh, three or four five-star hotels, and you've got others on, on, the, on the drawing board. And uh, you will find that um, uh, this will get, get even greater demand then for hospitality-trained personnel. Because a foreign investment is critical for any country. Um, and having a trained workforce on, in, in place uh, so that the, the foreign investors can have, have that confidence, right, we can go, come into Bangladesh because they've got these trained people there. Do you have any plan to set up uh, any campus or study center in Bangladesh to support the Bangladeshi in uh, the, the hospital Not industry? at this current stage uh, because obviously in Thailand we're bordered by some three or four current developing countries, countries like Myanmar, uh, Laos, and Cambodia. Um, Vietnam is, is, is fairly way on, uh, uh, fairly high up now, but the, there's still the Philippines that's, that's still in its development phase. So, um, because they're bordering Thailand, it's easier for us to kind of uh, go into Myanmar uh, or Laos or Cambodia. And we're, we're, we've got plans on the drawing board, but at this per, uh, moment in time, we're just focusing on uh, our university uh, and uh, make it a great success, and I'm sure we will, because the demand has been phenomenal. From Nearby border in Thailand, but only two hours flight uh, from Thailand to Dhaka, and Bangladesh is uh, growing. But at the moment, there's no direct flight from uh, Chiang Mai. No, okay. Uh, we're having connecting flight. Like, uh, we do have a plan like uh, in the future maybe be coming but now me and Dr. Jeffrey we just discussed and then we said it's better that we're looking for the partner mm -hmm. so like uh, some of uh, college university uh, you know, mm -hmm. anybody who interesting they can do the foundation uh, course like a theory apart from Bangladesh mm -hmm. and they can send students for our practical that it would be easy like right. it can be either do a degree or just do it as a partner which is a great model for both yes. both teams because Say, for example, uh, if we had a partner in Bangladesh, mm. they could deliver uh, the, the kind of uh, BBA aspects, mm -hmm. whereas we specialize in the practical because we've got the contacts in, in uh, uh, the global industry to place students in uh, internships. Uh, and so if our partners in Bangladesh fulfill the theory aspect, we can then fulfill the, the working and practical aspect and acquiring a job. Bangladeshi students, those who are interested to study in your university, how yes. can they uh, communicate with you or well, what is since, the procedure? Since we are going to be in Dhaka for a few days, and this, just the student, the Bangladesh student who is interested to join us, they can come and meet us at BSB. Mm -hmm. And then otherwise, uh, they can apply direct to the university. Okay. But it's better if they can meet us here. And we have a, obviously a, a website. <laughs> okay. What is your website address? Uh, World Wide Web ncicthailand.com. Okay. So yes. if they visit uh, your website, they can get the all information about the subject, tuition fee, yes. and as well as application from. They yes, can sir. download they it. They can apply online. Yeah, to fill up this yeah. one, they can send it by email. Okay. Yes. And I admission procedure is very easy. Very yes. Okay. Living but it, expenses. It, actually, it's better if they could come to meet us here, like a, so we can confirm their admissions, because we don't have like a big number of seats. We have very limited because we assure them for the placement. There, there's this kind of movement in terms of uh, trying to uh, create a, a education hub in Thailand, because Thailand is well located, well located within the ASEAN members. Uh, Singapore has always is, is, is had this dream as well, uh, same as uh, no Hong Kong, uh, uh, same, similar, because uh, uh, Hong Kong, like the Icon Hotel in Hong Kong, five star, 29 stories high, right on the waterfront. The middle nine floors is a management college for hospitality. 
-hmm. So therefore, they don't have to uh, work with other hotels. They actually run this, this particular hotel. Especially you offer hotel management, BBA, MBA, this type of program. Rather than this, uh, you offer the MBBS or no, no, actually pharmacy we, engineering? No, engineering. Yeah. We are one of the best engineering universities in Thailand. Mm -hmm. As I, have, I mentioned before earlier, mm -hmm. that we are the first private university in the northern part of Thailand to deliver, deliver engineering. And recently, just a few days back, we have got the, the best award from the Thai government regarding our energy, the engineering. So any suggestion uh, for the even Bangladeshi our, student? Even your most welcome Bangladeshi student. And I especially, you know, like a, I've been interact like a, this is my second, uh, third visit to Bangladesh. I'm quite impressed. The students uh, student here are working hard mm -hmm. and they, have, they don't have job opportunity. So that's what I, I have talked to the students who are interested in either hotel management or engineering, especially engineering because hotel management is no problem because they can, they have paid internship. And then for the engineering students, I, I myself, at being a director, I assure them 100% job, a global job placement after they graduate. Because I've been very sorry because they are very good students. Even students came to us after complete MBA and they have no job. They want, they want to join our ISM just because of the job. Okay, sure. Recently we got a student who did four year program for engineering. And they came for our counseling. He talked to Dr. Jeffrey that Dr. Jeffrey was surprised. You have done engineer. Why do you want to come to ISM for the first year? He said job opportunity. So your university student, they have a job available, right? Yes. That, that's the whole point. I, I know the universities are there to deliver academic subjects and qualifications. We deliver qualifications but we also deliver, train our people. It's, our curriculum is designed to get them a job, even before they graduate. Because even in their internships, they have the opportunity of impressing a, a future employer. Thank you, Restaurants. sir. Restaurants. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, to give the idea about your university, your education system, and the facility for the Bangladeshi student. Thank you very much. Uh, not Chiang Mai University, Thailand. A Bishwidaloy engineering Bishogul Rai Chamatkar among best education that are provided Korethakan, Pashapachi Hotel Management, Business among Ordinal Sector, Jatishta Palakos and Bangladeshi Shikati Jaraparashona Kortecha, the general scholarship in Pepostarete, Ibepari, Sharashi University, Shate Jugaja Koraja Deber, Otoba, Stani Protini, the Hisha Bibis, Biglo Banashat, Jugaja Koreboti process Korashambo Pabe. After the general Onikoni Shubu Kamunaki, Askar Matanustan Ekanishesh Kursi, Agami Shatta, Shambari, Eki Shomoe, Notun Kuribishuni, Apache Kotabulbu, Shubu Kamunaka Shakur, Allah Pes.